We're rolling. We are now going to put the winding on the reed. So we use a stubby mandrel. Oh, Jesus. Which will come up just barely under the second wire. Because it's stubby. And that's where we want it. And then we put... Oh, dear. Put the reed on that mandrel, and we tighten the wires. So if they've slipped, which like they here, may have done... It's your turn to be doing this, water boy. <laughs> <laughs> If they slipped, which is entirely possible, then you put them back on their wire marks. And again, making sure that the wires are perpendicular to the tip, you go and tighten them. <laughs> the bottom <laughs> wire gets tightened the most. See how we pull the play? Okay. And then the top wire <laughs> needs to be secure. Get it together, Tyler. <coughs> top wire needs to be secure, but not biting into the cane. Okay? Then we trim the wires. The bottom wire we trim all the way down so that we get it as close as we can with one twist without losing the whole twist together, all together. So there's just one twist here. The top two wires you want to have about three twists hanging out. And, come on. Okay, that's the third twist. At this point I fold the top wire down and just make sure that it's straight. So here there is the naked reed with the wires underneath. Okay. Now we take the file and we score so that the um, thread has something to hold on to. So underneath you put five hash marks. Oops. And we do this at a little bit of an angle, and then the thread has something to hold on to. We turn, again, I'm, um, because I'm right-handed, I'm holding this in my left hand, and we turn this so that the second wire is going to the right. We find the end of the thread, which is an art form in itself, apparently. <coughs> And we take the very end of the thread and we put it in the seam. Secure that with your thumbnail. And then we're going to twist this on, wind it on in that direction towards that wire. Then we just cover up the throat, making sure that you're holding this taut enough here. You don't want to yank on it too hard, but just so that there's no, so there's enough tension in the thread to stay, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm multitasking. There's enough tension in the thread so that it's the same all the way down. Like if you, does anyone here knit or crochet? Mm-hmm. It's, it's the same sort of thing. If you don't have the same amount of tension in the thread, then you're going to get strange knots and it's not going to hold together very well. You get down to the wire, and at this point, your job is just to cover up the wire and build some bulk to put the Turk's head on top of. So I come down underneath the wire, and once I've made a, a pass all the way around underneath the wire, then I come back up above, and how lovely that this thread is showing us a different color so we can see what happens. Then you just start building up bulk and covering up that wire. And this does not have to be particularly elegant, but you do still need to keep the same tension. Oh, and this would just really be bad if that's, there we go. Don't get any knots in the thread. 
So the objective down here is just to cover up that bottom wire before we build the Turk's head on top of it. So it kind of looks like I'm building the Turk's head already. I'm really not so much. It's just that you kind of have to go up and down to get that shape underneath the turban. And then once your aesthetic sense says that you have enough bulk built up here, you start actually winding the pretty part. Okay, so I'm going to, and when it starts falling off like that, <laughs> that means get over yourself and start winding. So, what we do is with the top wire up, that third wire up, come up on the top and underneath. So you lock underneath and it's a quarter turn all the way around. Now you're going to lock on top and you're going to come down behind the last thread that you put underneath. And you're going to come up behind the last thread you put underneath and down behind. Up behind. Down behind. Up behind. Down behind. Up behind. You're keeping these threads up as equally distant apart as you can. All the way around. And you know you're finished when you get to the same place that you started, which is approximately there. So I'm just going to come around one more time. And now we're ready to tie it off. So you secure it with your thumb. And you make a loop. Let me show you that again. The loop is goes this way so that when you pull this in the thread's going to disappear into that Turk's head. Okay, so there it is and then what we do is take a razor blade and cut it off. Take your pliers Fold down that first wire, make sure, or sorry, the second wire, make sure that the wire is secure and straight. Take it off the mandrel, and you now have a pretty Turk's head. And you can coat that. Um, I like to use nail polish or nitrocellulose. nitrocellulose cabinet lacquer is what I use on that and then acrylic fabric paint that's what my coating is but that's how you put that on and you're good to go